Hi there and welcome to a new video in which we are going to be checking Godot 4.5 Dev 3 out. This version, at least for me, uh, really uh, catches my attention because, well, the last Godot version that we got was in 8 April. Uh, so it was something like 15 days or 20 days since we got a Godot update. So maybe they do say some stuff here or even on Twitter. So we're going to be checking all these things out. But first of all, in Twitter itself, there isn't many things that maybe uh, we can um, mention here because, well, I thought that maybe they were saying something. Oh, we don't have an update. We didn't have an update for a couple of weeks. Um, so basically, but it does say that it is a huge uh, update with interaction of access kit to provide screen reader support. A script back traces should also be a welcome change. So we're going to be checking all these things out. So here we are. So first of all, we have the screen uh, reader support. So as far as I have understood, for some people that have some disabilities, well, this would actually help them uh, use the engine itself. And just if you want like a super uh, easy definition of what a screen reader is, it is basically a type of software that converts the visual content displayed on a computer screen into spoken words um, for users with visual impairments or disabilities. So once again, this is just meant to make the engine a little bit more inclusive. Uh, and for this, they have basically uh, used what is called access kit. Okay. Uh, here you have the, the repository explaining lots of things, but this is basically something that allows Godot to make it uh, an accessible, to make the, the UI uh, accessible for screen readers, okay? Basically that. So for this other one, script backtracing, first you have to understand what backtracing is, if you don't know it yet, ask me. So once again, with a simple Google search, we can understand this a little bit more. And at least the first definition we find is that it is a list of the function calls that are currently active in the thread uh, or in an execution. We can even call it, I believe. And also here with this example and this definition, we can understand a little bit more what's happening. So we have function two, function one. And in ready here, it's calling function one, which calls function two. Um, so basically it is using printing scripts backtrace this is a new function right now which will basically determine which functions uh, are being uh, called and this can help you debug some things that maybe you weren't able to directly debug um without uh, this functionality okay i don't really know a lot about this how we can actually help most developers okay um so if you have more information about this and you want to share it with uh, our amazing community in the comments feel free to do it now we also have inspector section toggle so now for example here in limits okay this is a camera lead yes this is a camera so if we disable the limits directly all these properties will be disabled the same thing with position smoothing rotation smoothing etc so this could be also something quite interesting i want to then see everything inside of the engine by the way and as usual well, we have we have even uh, more maybe extra features um so let's go ahead download this version and try it out so here we are as you can see 4.5 uh, dev 3 so let me see if we quickly create a new game project over there all my downloads and let's start editing so here we are okay um so i think that the 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 most important thing that we can actually try out here is this thing of the inspector because the rest uh i don't think that we can really show it right now or a practical example on how they can be used so we believe that this one is maybe the most important one for the general godot user um so let's for example add a new 2d scene let's drag and drop a godot icon over here and now you can see that we have this toggle okay to enable or disable the region for example so quite interesting because this does keep as you can see the inspector a little bit cleaner because in previous Godot versions you always had it like this, the region, for example. So now you don't have to do it. Uh, let's also try to find a more complex node. Um, maybe well, not maybe more complex, but that has more options in it, more fields, uh, such as particles. Um, but yes, here you don't have those toggles because I thought, okay, maybe. Well, no, this wasn't the idea of the feature actually, but I'm I maybe thought that there could be some stuff over here um 
So maybe, I know, Richard Party. Let's see if we see something. No, we don't really see anything. I thought that maybe in all these fields, we would have something different, but no, we don't. Uh, so it seems that it's only for um, fields that maybe are optional to use. Um, so I don't really know which is the like the, the parameter that they use in order to define whether something has a checkbox or, or not. I don't, I don't really know about that. Um, but well, it is there for, for some notes at least that we also saw it, uh, in the camera. Okay. So here it does give the inspector a little bit cleaner maybe. Um, but well, anyway, of course, these are not things that will actually have a huge impact on, on the engine itself, but well, they are there. If you want to continue um, knowing more about, about Godot, I have my own Godot game development course, which as you can see has more than 30, 30 students. It has six ratings and an average of 4.8. So you will be able to learn lots of things and the course is well, well structured, okay? Um, so you can buy it with the link in the description down below. And also in those links in the descriptions, I sometimes give some huge discounts, so instead of buying it at the least price, which is uh, for $45, you will be able to get it for something like $11.99 or $12.99 sometimes. And if you are also uh, keen on learning Unity, I also have my own uh, Unity course, which is a, a super comprehensive course of more than 20 hours of content. It has, once again, 24 students right now. It has no reviews because they have not yet finished the course because it's so long, just for you to know. Once again, all these links are in the description down below. And sometimes I do give some huge discounts in, the, in those links in the description. So I hope that you can enroll right now.